Hi there, thank you as always for popping by. Today I've got some great news for you because the film I spoke about last month, Confessions of a Teenage Jesus Jerk, a film about growing up as a J-Dub in the 1980s, written by someone who went through that himself. So it is going to be very factual. Well, everyone was asking, where can I see it? Where can I see it? It's going to be available to see from the end of this month, depending on what platforms you use, but then March, April, it's going wider again. So people are really going to have a chance to see it. Be great if you all supported it, because dramatizations can tell a lot of facts and um, tell a lot of what it felt like. So it's something that can be really helpful for the XJWs, those that grew up in that era. So I'm going to play you the, the new five minute um, promo and then give you the details of where you can see it. Please share with everyone. Please share the details. Let's help them get it out there. The little bits I've seen have been very good quality. See what you think. Not in 
interested in. Is it the Bible you're not interested in, or is it the f off my property? I wasn't drawn to this story out of anger or frustration with religion. I was drawn to the story because I desperately related with the father and the son, with the son and his friends, with the friends and their first experiences with love and sex. Honestly, when the script came out and we went ahead and did the film, we weren't really thinking about the budget. We were just thinking about the story. I promised them nothing. I encouraged them not to work with me because it's really hard to work with no money. And, <laughs> and they did. That's crazy. To this day, it was one of the most educational and inspiring experiences. Man, if you can capture the essence of the book and honor it, that's everything. And that's what happened. <laughs> an amazing experience. It looks good, doesn't it? And here's the trailer. Good morning. We're here to discuss an encouraging scripture from the Bible with you. Look, you know that I'm one. Living forever on a oh. Oh. Hello there. Have you ever considered that you could live forever on a paradise? Oh, earth? yeah. I'm at Jehovah's place of worship. I'm on holy ground, and I'm thinking of breasts. What is wrong with me? Aww. Did you touch this girl? Did you touch her? Oh, that's real. Right under Jehovah's direction, we have decided to disfellowship you. That happened. You can write us a letter after six months to be reinstated. Yeah. You can speak to any Jehovah's Witness during that time. Yeah. I'm in San Francisco. Come meet me. Karen says you're a Jehovah's Witness. Use electricity. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's a big crowd out here, Judy. We need Jehovah's name, no fun. Oh boy. That looks very real, doesn't it? So if you're chomping at the bit to see it, here's the news. We had a um, couple of comments from the producer, Kenneth Hughes, who also plays the part of Master Beta Bill. There's a, there's a name that everyone's queuing up to have. Anyway, he's kindly told us here, February the 23rd, it opens in Hollywood at Arena Cinema Lounge in Hollywood for a one-week run, and wait for it, exclusively with Amazon at the same time. Now, I've got Amazon Prime, so I'm hoping I can see it. And then March and April, it will come out on iTunes, Google Play, Vudo, and more. Fantastic, isn't it? So not long, and then he's given us... Uh, loads of links to all the, the social media where you can keep up with it. But I'm going to post all those links to say in the description box and in a comments box. Please click, please support it. Indie films, it can be very hard for them. And we need them. We need indie films and we need this film. I'm going to do another video on this on a serious aspect of the film. And uh, it's something that's come up a lot in the past, what, two or three weeks. So very important in JW land. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.